All right, rebuilds. We're going to start working on this pickup, this S10 bodywork. Um, whatever you do, don't buy a vehicle from me because you're going to get a lot of fiberglass and a lot of Bondo in it. But that's how life is. Um, I've got this, it's like a cross stitching thing, this plastic. I don't know, my wife had it from the craft she didn't use. So I'm going to use it out here on this pickup. I'm going to use it for a backer so I can put fiberglass filler in this. This. This flare is busted, so I'm going to stick that in. I'll put a little fiberglass in there and a Bondo. This whole big mess here. Look at that. Stuff that stuff in there, and then I'll fiberglass over that. And we'll see, we'll see what it does. I'm curious. I mean, I can get this flare, you know, without having to buy two flares and then fill that mud in. I wonder if I'd be smarter to put, like, a license plate up in here. We'll see if I could put a plate up in there or something to back it. But, yeah, that's where we're starting right now. The lowers will do these two and we'll call it okay rebuilds we're doing a combination of fiber class repair kit and bondo glass um i don't know if it's going to work or not i put a bunch on we're gonna give it a day and then we're going to grind it or sand it and then we're going to bondo it but i filled the holes in pretty good the best i could this is what it looks like so far i didn't overfill it i kept it low enough so hopefully that'll get hard as a rock and i'll put slip a boot bondo on there this had this big hole in it. Remember that big old hole from back here? I mean, I'm just patching it up. I'm just trying to make it look like a complete truck so it doesn't look so sloppy. I don't know what I'm gonna do about the paint up here um, when I do that. Maybe I rhino line it. Maybe I rhino line it flare all the way there, over flare there, you know what I mean? Or do half, half a rhino line. Probably go right over this flare, right down here, that valley, and come up over here. And right there it'll be a little bit goofy right there because it's got a big old hole there but that's where we're at so far um we slapped a little bit of fiberglass a little bondo the other stuff in there that long hair stuff put a board down in here and that's my new rocker that board's going to be mudded over and that's going to be filled in may spray foam that then same thing rhino line it might rhino line over the flare through the, the groove over the flare and maybe go a little bit over just to keep that spot there oh yeah and then come back down come out the back i think that'll work all right we got our first wave on there um fiberglass a little bit of bondo on that fill in that hole we got a lot of work to do to get that looking good we got this one kind of started a little bit of fiberglass bondo's hard enough a couple more sand little skins on there take care of that hole right there and we got this corner done that big hole that was there we stuck a license plate behind there some of that there cross stitch board stuff in there and just filled her in we're gonna have to take the, a lot of sand on that we'll sand the crap out of that i don't think that'll be too bad i mean this is just a couple thousand dollar pickup you know what i mean why would we throw a bunch of new parts into it when it's only a couple grand? We're just gonna put a little polish on it and fix that lower below the doors, touch it up with some new black paint. We might just black paint tape around the fender wells and black paint it. Just, you know, just a little look good. It'll be a cool little truck. So um, this is about the second or second stage, maybe one more, one or two more bondos on this and that lower one and have yourself a solid pickup. All right, we got our first wave on there. Um, fiberglass and a little bit of bono on that fill in that hole we got a lot of work to do to get that looking good we got this one kind of started a little bit of fiberglass bono's hard enough a couple more sand little skins on there take care of that hole right there and we got this corner done that big hole that was there we stuck a license plate behind there some of that there cross stitch board stuff in there and just filled her in we're gonna have to take the, a lot of sand on that. We'll sand the crap out of that. I don't think that'll be too bad. I mean, this is just a couple thousand dollar pickup. You know what I mean? Why would we throw a bunch of new parts into it when it's only a couple grand? We're just gonna put a little polish on it and fix that lower below the doors, touch it up with some new black paint. We might just black paint tape around the fender wells and black paint it. Just, you know, just a little look good. It'll be a cool little truck. So, um, this is about the second or second stage maybe one more one or two more bondos on this and that lower one 
and have yourself a solid pickup. All right, rebuilders, look at the price on these spray cans. I don't know if you can see them. It's kind of blurry. $1.49, $1.49. They were closed out. I bought all they had 10 cans of black. Um, black spray is regularly like five bucks. So, right there's $50 I got for 14. I really don't care if it's expired, you know, because I'll use it for door jams and, you know, to use it for underneath or for even for like uh, sanding. When you sand, you know, you shoot a little on there and sand it down to make it look good. And uh, yeah, it's a big savings. That's, you know, I bought the gallons for 15 and then I bought 10 spray cans. Um, I don't know how good it is. Uh, general purpose spray paint into your exterior works for me. I thought that was a buy. Okay, rebuilds, we got this fiberglass and bound out in. I took my Milwaukee grinder right there and I chopped it down. It looks pretty rough right now, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to sculpt this into a fender well and a little bit on the box. And, you know, I'm just going to make it look a little bit better. There was a big big hole right there all the way through this is fiberglass that fiberglass hair it's kind of hard to work with and then up here we did this right here we're going to fill that in so i just took the grinder to this i may sand it a little bit just sand some of the nubs off it then we're going to bottle it a couple more times i will see what it looks like at the end it's a really big low right here because it's missing the fender we're gonna keep filling that in. Try to get as close as we can and see what happens. All right, rebuilds. What I like to do is I like to use an old license plate to mix this up and then I just throw it away. Straight Bondo. I've already put that much on this pickup. Um, if I just use this, I mix it. I never stir it. I use my, mix it like this and go flat with it. I suppose to be better for it and less bubbles. Use a couple of these and but that's how I mix it. Um, then I just throw everything away. I have a lot of license plates because I have a lot of junk cars. So this is where I'm at right now. Um, a couple coats in the front. This is what the front looks like. Did a lot of sand in you, but I'll just sand that smooth and I'll rhino line that fender well. That looked great. This is where you turn into a have to turn into an artist back here because you got to do a lot of sculpting and a lot of work. So I got that big hole filled in. Kind of got sculptured here. That's what you call it, bondo there. It's really low right here. But what I'll do is the next step is I'll sand this all down really good. I'll sand it, sand, 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 sand. And then I'll fill, 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 fill. This doesn't have to be perfect. So let's look at this pickup. A lot of you guys are like, why are you doing all this work with this pickup? You know, I don't know why. It's probably a $2,000 pickup. But, you know, we'll get her looking a little bit better. We'll rhino line it. And then all, all this extra bondo in the back helps put weight in the back. So when you're four wheeling, get that much mud in it and you'll be able to do some extra four wheeling but besides these three spots and that undercarriage there you know it, it runs and drives um but it's a couple thousand dollar pickup you don't want to put too much time and effort into it this is where i'm at on this side still a little bit low but it's still tacking up but we'll sand the heck out of it we'll get it looking close and i haven't figured out what i'm gonna do with the lower rock rockers yet if i weld something in there or i tack weld or i just cut them out you know i have other pickups where you just cut that off of the grinder and call it good i mean like i said two grand you get for two grand maybe you get some four rallies off that for two grand but no but maybe i just cut that grind that off to where i like it and call it a day but i'm out of bondo right now so uh, we'll go from there and we'll keep you updated all right rebuilders i got this lined out a little bit you can see where i painted a little black on there with a rattle can i rattle can that and that's where i'm gonna rhino anything below that line is gonna get rhinoed um i don't know what to do about the box there's some goofy thing there but i'll probably just rhino that whole thing fix that um yeah it'll, it'll be all right at least it'll all be no holes and, and kind of look cool this this side this front fender flare with the big hole in it good enough for me i got it outlined a little bit where that that crease is there i just put black paint in there i'll probably go back when it's dry and i'll acetone it and make a straight line on that and everything down this back is going to be a mess i'm going to resand this again and add a little more filler but then we're going to rhino line all that down that big hole in the box is the only problem it's going to look kind of ugly but oh, it is what it is
All right, here's where we're at on this side. We just put a little tube down there and we just bottled the heck out of it. It ain't that straight. We painted a little bit underneath. Um, see where that outline is? I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna use that bed liner. Uh, you know, it, it is what it is. It's it's rough in the bottom, it's rusted out, but I'm just trying to make it look a little more presentable to the world. Um, so that's where I'm at on this side. Basically, all I got left to do is probably, I'll probably tape it off and I'll probably buy that spray bed liner probably take a can two cans on each side four cans 40 bucks to rhino line that lower part down um well unless you think it should do something different maybe i should well, I, yeah i know i know sometimes you put stainless on there stainless steel you can buy stainless steel and screw it on there on the lower door things one two three four sections that looks kind of nice too if you do that this side i think it's good enough to go um <clears throat> good enough for what we want to do with it this side the back looks crappy there's a hole in the door right there we don't have nothing done with this bottom one so we got to figure out what to wedge in there and bondo that up that strip grind that down rhino line it rhino line will take a lot of ugly out of it and yeah and we'll we'll have us a little mud bugger got a little badlands rebuilds on the side of this that might be what we just leave that badlands that'd be kind of cool <laughs> Kind of went backwards on this one. Badlands rebuilds. There you go. Subscribe, click like. I think that's pretty cool. We're gonna we're gonna cover it anyhow. But I thought I'd just have a little fun. See if I can get any better spray paint. Not even too bad. That badlands can almost read. The rest of it, not so much. All right, here's the finished product right here. We got our rhino line and set out like that. I don't know what to do with that fender well, but we got our all done up and that's what both sides look like we just ran around around it the box is going to be a little tricky because that rust is going to go through but so yeah that's what i did um in this whole video i probably burned about um actually i'll only use 22 22 dollars with the bed liner uh i used two rattle cans which were dollar 49 i used probably two quarts of bondo which was 28 30 bucks so, I mean, just to make this thing look a little bit more presentable, a little bit, you know, I don't know if it's any better, but once you get mud on there or dirt on there, you're not even gonna know. You know what I mean? I have a little bit of overspray, but I'll take acetone and I'll go around on that golden spot or tan and I'll clean that up. But sure, this is a 50 to $100, just a little bit of polish on that baby. And, and I think it looks pretty good. It looks a heck of a lot better than I thought. So if you like this kind of stuff, how to, uh, you know do something low budget or something that's not really right but still cheap 